Is that a sushi dance? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Daniela Malfitano and welcome to My Choice Kitchen. This is a space for choosing joy. Today, I'm gonna to teach you how to make rainbow sushi roll. Do you like sushi? Have you ever made it at home? Well, here are all the ingredients you will use to make this rainbow roll. And I like to represent every color of the rainbow. It's gonna be really super colorful. But my favorite part about sushi is that, you know, that crunchy tempura flake. And instead, we're doing something just a little healthier. We're gonna use kale chips. You ready to get rolling? Come on, let's go. Let's start with the rice. To keep things simple, I microwaved a bag of organic brown rice. Add two tablespoons of rice vinegar for every cup of rice you use. And then add some salt because you need the extra flavor. Now mix it up and then set it aside for later. Alongside the rainbow sushi rolls, we're making pickled ginger and carrots, which are rich in probiotics. We'll start by peeling the ginger and a spoon is definitely the best way to do this. Be sure to pull it apart to remove all of the skin. Now peel your carrots and then slice them into tiny coins with a mandolin or using a sharp chef's knife. Do the same with the ginger. So these mandolins come with a really handy dandy safety cover. I highly recommend you use it. All you do is you attach the piece of produce right onto the tongs here. Tongs? Is that, is that what it's called? Spikes. Spikes. Teeth. <sighs> Whatever. Attach it and then you can run it right over the blade just like this. I didn't use it, but you should. Scoop the carrot and ginger slices into a small mason jar. I like to mix up the layers so it's easy to get a combination of carrots and ginger later. Pickling is really easy and really fun. All you have to do is combine half a cup of water, some rice vinegar, and a little sugar. I'm using coconut sugar because it's natural and unprocessed. Bring these ingredients to a light simmer just until you see these little bubbles. Now pour this hot mixture very carefully into your jar of veggies. I recommend using a funnel here, but I didn't have one. Screw on a lid tightly and then turn it just a few times. Now let it sit, and the longer it sits, the better it gets. Listening to music helps me focus, and making sushi requires just that, so let's turn it up. Okay, now we're working on slicing up the yummy fillings for the sushi. Get creative with this. Choose any ingredients that you like. But to make it a true rainbow roll, use a lot of colors. We're starting with some sprouted tofu for extra protein. Then cut a piece of cucumber, remove the seeds, and then slice it up. Next, julienne some yellow and red bell peppers for added crunch. Then to add sweetness, drop the beets, yo. They ain't never seen nothing like this before. Not the ones in my ear, the ones from the ground. Pour some into a mortar and pestle, but take out that fresh pack, and then grind it up into small flakes. Now let's roll. If you don't have a sushi rolling mat, I've included a link to my recommendation in the description below. Place a piece of plastic wrap on the rolling mat to keep everything together. Lay one piece of nori or seaweed sushi wrap on the top of the plastic, then lay down a layer of rice. Wet your fingers to prevent the rice from sticking and spread the rice out evenly, but not all the way to the edges. Now arrange the fillings in a line at the edge closest to you. Generously sprinkle on your ground up kale flakes and let's do this, I hope it works out. Here we go. Hold the edge of the mat with your thumbs. Use your other fingers to keep all the filling together as you slowly fold the mat over. Tuck the front edge of the seaweed into the roll and remove the mat and plastic wrap as you continue to roll the sushi. Roll slowly so that the sushi comes out evenly. Keep tightening your sushi roll so that the ingredients don't fall out. Like many techniques in the kitchen, this is an art form that takes practice to get right. So try it a few times. After rolling, it's good to let the roll sit for a minute before cutting it up so that the seaweed moistens from the rice and it's easier to slice. See the seam here? That's the seam. Make sure that it's down. And I'm not even gonna get fancy. All those rustic edges, those can stay. Just Make it the thickness that you want and very easily go through. You can fix it when you plate it. Some of them can be down, 
Some of them can be up, whatever you'd like. The tighter the roll, the better. Beautiful. I'll clean that plate up here in a second. It's like a flower. It's like a flower. Here's our fresh sushi, it's sliced up, it's plated up. All we need is a little sauce and our pickled ginger and carrots. Instead of soy sauce, I'm using coconut aminos. I love coconut aminos because they come from coconuts. It's not actually a soy-based product, so this is totally gluten-free. And I'm gonna just pour it into my side bowl here. I love my little side butterflies. And I love this. This has no coloring agent, not very much sugar, and you get a lot of those natural probiotics because, well, it's pickled. Sushi. Thank you. You're so colorful. Yeah. Before we get into it, let's take just a moment to give this food a little gratitude. Thank you. Thank you. I have a feeling this can get slightly messy. It's getting a little messy. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So fresh. It's wonderful. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. Tastes just like soy sauce, huh? The coconut aminos? Totally. Yeah. Yeah, you even called it soy sauce, but it's not soy sauce. It's coconut sauce. So, okay, so this sushi is all vegetarian. Totally vegetarian. Totally vegan. Totally vegan and totally nutritious. It has a lot of protein, mm -hmm. ton of fiber, ton, tons of micro and macronutrients. I'm making the ultimate bite here. Full roll, a couple pieces of carrot, pickled, a couple pieces of pickled ginger. Here I go. Mmm. Mm hmm. Is that a sushi dance? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Man, that was good. Uh oh. See, I knew this was going to happen. Oh, that's okay. It's going to get messy. Mm hmm. Part of the fun. Mm hmm. And these little tiny plates mm -hmm. that we made were. Thank you so much for being my taste tester. And thank you guys for joining us. This was really fun. I hope that you took something from this recipe and I hope that you feel brave enough to try sushi on your own. It is really fun. If you enjoyed this, come back for more because we have so much in store for you here at My Choice Kitchen. And don't forget to hit subscribe. We want you guys to know when we come out with our weekly videos. Until next time, I wanna to say together, let's rejoice in choice because choice is a beautiful, wonderful thing. Thanks everyone, we'll see you next time. Bye, friends. Tell me what you're listening to. I'm listening to Cruise by Francis and the Lights. <laughs>